Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to Rec at Home Basketball Drills. It's great to see everyone back. Many thanks to all the new subscribers and anyone that's joining our classes now. Last week's theme, strive for what you desire. This week's theme, appreciate the others around you. Today, we got some warm-up drills that we're going to start before we get to our initial drills. But remember, as we're going through this video today, appreciate the others around you. We'll be right back. We'll get, start, we'll get started shortly. This is our conditioning. We're going around the cones to a back pedal. We're staying on our toes. We're getting ourselves warmed up. Now we're doing our defensive slides. Very important as you see the note up above. Stance, arms up, and stay on your toes. Cone touches when incorporated with the defensive slide help you to defend the dribble as well as defend the player when he's in a standstill position. In other words, we're chopping and we're mirroring the ball. The lateral jump drill is much similar to the Mikan drill. You want to jump over a stand or any object that's flat that you can jump over. On the right side, you want to put it up with your right hand. On the left side, you want to try and put it up with your off hand. For your form shooting, we want to make sure our hand is placed on the ball right. Snap your wrist and follow through. Let's try and make those shots to be all net when we're doing our form shooting. Ball handling, you'll need one to two basketballs and a cone. We're going to spend some time on ball handling because that is something that you should always take the time to work on. For this one cone drill, we're going to practice with both of our hands, our strong hand and our off hand, and dribbling just around the cone. So it'll be a pound dribble and you'll be stationary. You won't be moving. And if you can't, if you have to move, it's all right to move one or two steps to get that ball so, uh, focused around your body. Remember, push the ball with your fingertips and snap your wrist while you dribble. Here's our walk cone 
ball handling drill. For our single cone dribbling drill, we go around the cone at least 10 times. As you develop your dribbling, you want to increase it. But notice, when you're doing this drill, the ball is no higher than the cone. You're pounding that ball with your fingertips, you're snapping your wrist, and you're guiding that ball around the cone. You and the ball should become one. We're advancing in the single cone dribbling drill. Now we're going around the cone with our right hand, then bringing the ball back with our left hand. We're going vice versa with either or. Your strong hand to your off hand, your off hand to your strong hand. This is called the in and out dribble. We want to do this at least 20 times each. The in and out dribble is similar to the crossover dribble, except you're doing it with one hand. You're bringing the ball back and forth, back and forth. As you get comfortable with the drill, start to pick up the speed. Remember, you want you and the ball to be as one. We're going to take you back to basic fundamentals. We're going to put the ball around our back 10 times. Go back the other way.
Now we're going to do fingertips to our head down to our waist 10 times. dribble lunges. You want to go forward and backwards. When you step with your left leg, you want to put the ball in your left hand. When you step back with your right leg, you want to put the ball on your right hand side. Now we're doing figure eights, except when we're doing the figure eights, we're actually walking backwards and forwards with the ball, being comfortable. We're putting you into a dribbling situation without actually putting the ball on the ground. we're doing our two ball in and out dribble. Notice coach is putting the ball in front of the cone and then pulling it back. Get used to this drill. As you become really good with drills like this, you are connected to the basketball. Here's a jump stop drill to a pass for a shot. Kind of a special drill because in a basketball game, when you're performing a jump stop, it's very easy when you get in traffic to come down and pity pat your feet. And footwork is a primary concern with basketball going into the future. If you have great footwork, you're gonna be an excellent, well-rounded basketball player. Also, with just the NBA playing right now, you'll even see some of these fundamentals in games. And you'll see referees also make that call if you do it improperly. So here's our jump stop drill, and then we're gonna pass the ball out and then retrieve the ball and then get a shot. So in essence, we're putting two drills into one so we're challenging you to see your fundamentals. We're challenging you to catch that pass after we've come to a jump stop. Get it, try to get it off that one bounce. And then any game shot that you choose.
Executing the jump stop. Coming down on two feet. Hustle to get that pass. Sweep the ball and pull up for your shot. A shooting drill in which we're going to work on baseline shooting, short range shooting near the basket. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be passing the ball to myself and then I'm going to step out from the basket near the sides and we're going to shoot some shots. drill we have our cones arranged right back in how we started at the beginning of the film today we're going to be doing our footwork drill incorporated with some strength and then we're going to add a shot to it now we're going to attempt to try and make three shots one two or three for the attempt if we fail strive for what you desire we're going to do it again but we're going to try and attempt to make three shots here we go. Here's our challenge drill this week. For our challenge drill, we have to get around the cone, that's our footwork, get down on the ground, do a push up, run and get the ball and make a shot. Let's get it, coach. This is your strength and your endurance, your speed, your agility, and the ability to make a shot after being extremely tired. Well, class, that's it for this week. 
I enjoyed it. We had enough, another tough class this week. And it was great. It was terrific. Nice workout. We did our ball handling. We did our footwork. We got a shooting drill, which you had to be extremely tough and fast. You should be getting after it. Piggybacking on our theme today. Appreciate. Appreciate the others around you. Take the time to give others who have gotten you to the point to where you are right now, give them their flowers. You're going to hear that term quite a bit. We've lost some key, key, key people in society as of late. And you always want to recognize when they're here, not when they're gone. So when Kirk said today, appreciate the things that are around you, your parents, other people involved in your life. Take the time to recognize them. Take the time to say thank you. And especially say I love you. For all those that we've lost this past week, take care, be safe, and most important, study hard. You have to work three times as hard because you're at home doing virtual studies. Let's get it. P.S. And remember, keep that towel on your shoulder. Rest in peace, Coach Thompson. See you next week.